We are here at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa because we have breakfast reservations at the Grand Floridian Cafe. I've eaten here once for breakfast, once for dinner on my birthday many years ago. This is going to be Corey's first time coming. Um, I'm not exactly sure where we're supposed to go because every time I come, I'm in a rush to get there. But today, we took our time. So like, look at that. Isn't it pretty? The weather is like perfect right now. Absolutely perfect. But it's going to get hot later. We're going to fill ourselves with food. Come join us. So let's look at the menu that Corey's looking at. We've got some appetizers and entree salads and such. And then they have some eggs benedict. Other style entrees. And then like pancakes, toast, French waffles, you know, all that stuff. French waffles, that's not what I meant to say. French toast and waffles, goodness gracious. And then some cocktails. I might be getting me a mimosa with my old fashioned buttermilk pancakes and bacon. Yes, please. Now, Corey, what do you have your eye on? All of it. Anything you're leaning towards? It sounds really good. I like, I like that there's like lunch and breakfast options. There's a wide variety. That's the nice thing. But you know me, me getting some pancakes. Are you excited now that you've officially chosen what you want to eat? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry? Look at the little biscuits he brought out for us. Aren't those cute? Do these have like orange? It's probably like I would assume. Like I orange butter? Taste it. This is what, what is it? Yeah, it's like citrusy butter. Oh, cool. They're so cute. They're so tiny. Well, let's try them. Biscuit. Eh. I just cut the biscuit the wrong way. Oh, it's like whipped. Okay. On its own. Also delicious. You gonna try it with this? I am. I wanted to see what you thought first. Real good? Ooh, I'm excited. Let's we'll try a little bit. Let's see how I like it. That's a real question. Oh, that's not bad at all. You think it was gonna be? I thought it was gonna be very citrusy. No, it's a tiny, tiny bit. That's tasty. I'd just like to note that our reservation was at 9.45. We showed up a little tiny bit late. But they still seated us with no problems. And then like right now, it is 10.15. And like, it's really kind of empty in here. Like, I don't know if we just got lucky because it is a Wednesday. Maybe, yeah, because a lot of them are already in the park. I don't know, but like, we got seated, we got served. Our server's great so far. So props to you, Robert, from California. But I don't know. It's a nice little like quiet place to grab like a more adult breakfast. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really excited. I barely got breakfast. Though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> eh, we're okay. eating at the breakfast time. It counts. <laughs> the food has arrived. All right, we got curry salad and the spicy egg benedict, and then my pancakes, bacon, and a little bit of strawberry. I'm going to pass the strawberry off to the hubby so he can eat it. I'm so excited. Look how fluffy those are. I'm out of bacon. Enjoy. My grand mimosa has arrived. And look at the cute little, like, G-Flow. Isn't that cute? But also, I got a paper straw because that's what they gave us. That's what they sat down. <laughs> that makes me so happy, especially since that's now that I work at Animal Kingdom and, like, if you see a plastic straw, you have to ask them to like, please throw it away for the safety of the animals. Um, it just makes me excited that this is something we're doing at all of the like restaurants. Hopefully, or soon we'll be at all of the restaurants. So, thank you for coming to my paper straw TED talk. Hello, oh. and welcome to Soren. 
it's not just your go-to beat. I don't know. It just sounds like it whenever I say hello and there's a pause. Hello, it's me. It's me. That's my, that's my go-to. <laughs> what do you think of your food? It was very good. how hot it would be outside that day. And? Obviously you get salad if it's too hot. Correct. It's light. But did you like the eggs? Did you like the salad? What was like your favorite part of I love chorizo with an egg. It's very good. Chef's kiss. The salad was pretty cool. The apples were super like, thinly sliced. That was pretty cool. Pancakes, dope as always. Love it. Um, but we were just talking about like if you're going to be getting a breakfast somewhere on the Magic Kingdom area, like if you're all adults, like this is a pretty great option. It's like an adult here. breakfast brunch thing. So maybe the only other breakfast we've had is Kona and Polly, yeah. and then Chef Mickey's at Contemporary. Mm -hmm. I've done a breakfast at Be Our Guest. I wasn't super impressed, but y'all know me. I'm I have too. Yeah, you. It yeah, was, you want Polly. Yeah. Um, so like, oh, this is really nice, and it's nice that there's a big variety with the menus. Yeah. You can kind of, um, if you want an early lunch, you can do an early lunch. Yeah, you can do what I did and get some breakfast and some lunch and call it brunch. Now, um, <coughs> our, our excuse me, our total should have been about fifty-five dollars. We do get a cash discount, so that was great. So we were able to use that here. Um, so. For the two of us, I got a drink and my breakfast. Corey got two breakfasts for about $55. So in a sense, if yeah, we had oh, three that's people, total. Like, each of us total. spent about 25 bucks. Right. But then again, we did get a discount, so we get a little bit less than that. But just a ballpark for you. <laughs> Feeling that mimosa. She's doing great. We have made our way to Frontierland in the Magic Kingdom. We have a fast pass at Big Thunder Mountain. It's gonna end in like 20 minutes. But first, I stopped at the trading post because I wanted to get me a new Magic Band with Powerline on it. Um, because I have my Splash Mountain one, but it is breaking. So I can't really wear that one anymore. So as soon as I saw that there was a Powerline one, I was like, I mean, gots to have it. Um, it is a B, which means it's $30. Again, I got a discount on it because I work here. But look at it, it's got Max and Goof and then Powerline. I'm so hyped about this. Magic Kingdom without what? What? What is like you can't come to Magic Kingdom and not do? Oh, um, stand behind slow moving sweaty tourists. Okay. Wait, cut that out. Let's do another. No. How about <laughs> no, I don't think this will get any better. <laughs> I was gonna say Big Thunder Mountain. Every time I come, I gotta do Big Thunder Mountain. It's one of my favorites. Um uh, I don't know. I like my side. And guess what? That's what we're doing next. Look at that. That worked out perfectly. Went to Frontierland, Big Thunder Mountain. I got to see some of my Frontierland friends, so that was nice. And now we're gonna see my side. Yes, please. So, how about you guys? It's on a day at the Magic Kingdom without. Fill in the blank. Comment below. Let us know. What's your favorite thing to do here at the parks? Huh? <laughs>
We're here at Space Mountain. I've linked up power line. Now let's see if he's going to work. That's the real question. Yeah, yeah. Hello, and welcome to our newest segment of people talking about things on the people movers. I am Kelsey, and this is my husband, Corey. Now, my question is, raise your hand if you like Space Mountain, but you would be okay with a closing for an extensive reefer so we can get the California version. Yeah? Yeah? Who's, well, how was it? This is the last time we just wrote it. I didn't like it. It was really bumpy. And they had a lot more like stars, so you could see a lot more, and I didn't like, like it. Every time I go, it's a little harder and harder to deal with. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Would you be okay with Space Mountain closing for a long time? So they could either smooth it out or give us the California version? And now it's all dark. Next question. Who's excited for Tron? track is already gone. Wow. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Wowza. I didn't like the movie, but I'm excited for the ride because it looks cool in Shanghai. Don't ask me. Number three. What do you think? That's right. It's going to be the wait time on opening day of Star Wars Land. Now keep in mind there's only one ride and there's no fast pass. The wait time will be however willing I am to wait plus three hours. So like... How long would you be willing I to wait? Know. I'm thinking it'll be four-ish hours to so get on the ride. You'd be willing to wait it? God, no. Oh, he's like, not never. So you'd be probably willing to wait an hour plus. So this is supposed to be the Millennium Falcon ride. This yeah. is the one that's supposed to last like 30 minutes, so I've been told. <laughs> Speculations, we'll see. But seeing as Slinky Dog Dash got to a four hour wait, I'm staying at least four or five hours. I do think it is really smart to not do fast pass. And I hope that's something that they continue to do for an extended period of time for that opening and kind of like overlap that with when they do the second phase open and then when they open Tron and when they open Guardians. I hope they're just smart and say go past it because I think it's going to be really successful. It'll go much smoother if now that Disney owns one of my favorite film franchises, Alien, how would y'all feel about knocking out Stitch's little meet and greet area and putting in an actual alien themed alien encounter? So like bring back the old alien encounter and make it better or a new thing? A new one with alien, like Xenomorphs and Ripley. I think that is spooky. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. Put it in Tomorrowland or put it in Studio. Okay. Or put it over at Epcot between like Mission Space and Guardians. You got enough like space stuff going on over there. It's been a pleasure. Okay. I'm just excited because Mrs. Doubtfire is a princess now. Alrighty, well that was fun. Now let's go do our last fast pass of the day, which is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Right now it's supposed to get a 170 minute wait, so I'm glad I was persistent for the last like three days and was able to get this fast pass. So it was originally supposed to be for 10.15 tonight. You yeah, know, it's getting warm. We want to enjoy the ride, get out of here, and then enjoy some time. Maybe watching our next Marvel movie or Star Wars. What are we doing next? We have a few more Marvel movies, but they're just for like refresh I mean, purposes. Yeah, just because we like them. Mm -hmm. You can go either way. Okay, gonna enjoy some seven doors, stop and get some Wawa, have a movie night, 
Mm. Chill out. Give the cats the pom poms. Yeah. I'm so excited. Get up. There it is. Okay. I got you something. You want to play with it? Yeah, yeah, you want it? You ready? Yeah, she likes like it. it. Let's see if Pete Bear wants that one. Peeps! Ooh. Right there. She stared at it and went like, uh, but then decided against it. No, you good? <laughs> okay. She good. Well, at least we like one of them. Where did Goop go? Is she still playing with hers? We already have too many cat toys. She picked it up with her paw and threw it down the stairs. Really? Yeah. Ready? Good cat. Good girl. Ha! <laughs> Look at her carry in her mouth. Come down here, girl. Oh, she's going to be entertained for hours. Yes, please. <laughs> ha ha, success. Nailed it. Cool. Free cat toys at Disney. <laughs> That's what we're walking away with. Yes. Alrighty. Well, thanks for joining us today. We will see you guys real soon. Bye.